sense of smell and taste are common symptoms of COVID-19. But some patients never get the senses back. As WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, researchers in Philadelphia are now testing a new way to restore taste and smell. Nancy D'Amato is finally able to enjoy eating again. She lost her ability to taste and smell after a bout with COVID-19 last February. It was really, really um, jarring. I mean, I, and I lost it like instantaneously. It's often one of the first symptoms of COVID that's usually temporary. But for some patients like D'Amato, the inability to taste and smell lasts and becomes a COVID-19 long haul syndrome. It was life changing that I, I couldn't enjoy any food. I didn't want to um, eat. It was so depressing. With limited treatment options, D'Amato found an intriguing research project at Jefferson Health. I really feel that it's helping me. The Jefferson research is testing platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, from the patient's own blood to restore smell. It's been used to heal injuries and regrow hair. Now, instead of injections, Dr. David Rosen and his team are using a biodegradable sponge infused with PRP. You put it up very high in the nose where all the smell fibers are located. It gets absorbed through the lining of the nose. It basically helps those cells that have, have been damaged by the, the COVID virus to start regenerating. He says of the nine COVID-19 patients who've received PRP, eight have responded. I'm able to start to enjoy some flavors, food again. After five treatments once a month, Nancy says her sense of smell and taste are slowly coming back. She's able to enjoy her perfume again and is back to wine tastings. Dr. Rosen says PRP therapy has helped other patients who have trouble with taste and smell. He hopes to get a grant to expand the research in COVID-19 patients. But to be able to smell perfume and taste wine again, I'm sure is a welcome change. Yeah. I know. And it's so interesting how they're using your own body to try to find a cure. Yeah. That's right. Incredible. It's because she's right. It's got to be depressing. And over the long haul, hopefully all of these patients will be able to get it back. Dr. Mel